Today we're facing a dangerous Wolfsburg side and they play in green, same as us. Uh, so we're pretty pissed off about that. We want to defeat them so that we can be the green green boys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Battle of the Bundesliga Green Teams. Wolfsburg versus Bremen today. Um, Wolfsburg 8th, Bremen 5th. Wolfsburg are on pretty good form at the moment, doing okay. Looking a little bit scary, in fact. But we'll come and have a look at them in a minute. First off, I just want to catch you up on a few things. Let's start off in the medical centre because there's a few um, issues here. Max Kruse we knew about already. He's been out for bloody ages which is an absolute pain in the bum but he is he's still out and he's out for about three to six weeks still Aaron Johansson's got injured our top scorer 12 goals so not only have we got Max Cruz out who is technically our best probably our best option up front but we've also got our second best option up front Aaron Johansson out and our top scorer 12 goals as I just mentioned alongside that is it Hirovich has received a very nasty looking injury to his groin area. Um it's a sports hernia. Don't worry, Holger Berger, our head physio oh, who's got twenty for physiotherapy, good good stuff recruitment from me there. Um has examined this area fully and he has assured me that um he's going to treat him very well. Surprise, surprise, we lost a game. Kelsen Kirchen. Um, or Schalke, as um, as you probably know them. Yeah, we lost to them, 1-0. Nothing to say about that game. We played crap. I, in fact, there is something to say about that game. I tried out a 4-4-2, and it went tits up. I came back from that um, and went back to the old formation against Hanover, um, and we won that 1-0. Aaron Johansson had a good game. Everyone else was kind of average, and it was really more of a case that they were not very good rather than us being good. So it doesn't fill me with confidence going into the Wolfsburg game because they are a pretty strong team. So straight away we can see uh, they've got Mario Gomez as their captain. Let's have a quick look at him. We all know of him, I am assuming. 17 finishing, 19 off the ball... 18 anticipation, 17 balance. He's a good player, you know. He's his reputation two and a half stars. That's bollocks, isn't it? Everybody knows him. And what even is reputation if it, if it doesn't mean that? Anyway, he's a good player. He's 32 years old, getting on a little bit, but valued at 23 million still. Um, but yeah, he and you know he's a player who you'd you'd be happy to have in your side. They've also got Ignacio Camacho the Spanish defensive midfielder who's got, again, some pretty decent attributes there. 16 heading, 16 marking, 18 tackling. Teamwork, t um, teamwork, work rate, positioning, concentration, stamina, all really useful in that defensive midfield position. So he's probably going to be a bit of a beast there um, and attempt to sort of dominate the midfield and take the ball off us. Um spread it out and launch launch counter-attacks and they've also got this uh how am i going to say this guilavogui <laughs> i don't know how to say his name but i have heard of him before and he's actually quite good sitting in that defensive midfield role alongside camacho i think they could be pretty formidable as ball ball winning midfielder it looks like it might be playing as who knows? But yeah, that that looks like that's that's quite scary. Then again, there's a bit of space in here that we might be able to exploit. Um, I'll get on to the tactics and the way we're going to choose to exploit Wolfsburg's potential flaws in a minute because um, I've done something a little bit different with the way that I approach that. So here's a bit of a Wolfsburg team report. Doesn't really reveal that much, to be honest. Um, we've got Mario Gomez, 18 strikes, lead everyone else in the competition. So Mario Gomez is essentially the top scorer in the Bundesliga at the moment, which is as not as we would expect, but you know we know Mario Gomez is a good player already, so it doesn't give us any particular insight. Um, there's not really much else in there. They've got a good pass completion ratio, which makes them fifth in the competition. Um, 14 of the 30 cons assists conceded in the last 20 matches have come from inside the penalty area. 
which would be good if we had anybody who could who could perform inside their penalty area, but we've just got like a man up front by himself struggling to do anything. And that man is not um, our top choice striker because both of our top choice strikers are injured. So it doesn't really help in that sense. Um, they do say the 4-2-3-1 defensive midfield wide has been a source of problems. So maybe that's something we can look at. Um, let's have a look at the tactics for them. So... Yeah, a source of problems in that. Oh, that's the defensive midfield wide. Yeah, forty-three-one DM wide. Sorry. Yeah, and that's the one they've started twenty times. They've started that, so it looks like that's probably what they're going to go for. And they've scored thirty goals and they've conceded twenty-six. What have they faced? So four-four-one-one. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, I mean, you can't really tell much from that. They haven't really played enough games with that formation for it to make a difference. Um, let's have a look at the goals. So, most of their goals conceded within the penalty area, it looks like. Um, goal types, mostly... Well, they've mostly been scoring placed shots, which, again, is probably Gomez's influence. Conceded 20 placed shots. Assist locations... All right, so it's pretty even across the board. Some from the wing, a lot from the penalty area. Ooh, doesn't really help us. Oh, cross conceded 12 crosses. Crossing could be something, maybe. So as you know, I've got a shit assistant manager. So what I've done is I've put it out to Twitter. Asked a few people on Twitter what they, what they think. Well, I haven't asked people. I just put it out there and let people get back to me. A couple of people got back. A couple, more than a couple, about five or something maybe um people got back to me so uh one of those is mike according to fm um one half of uh one more game podcast which is definitely worth a listen if you haven't listened to it already and he's got back to me with assuming that they go with a four two three one defensive midfield wide as we think they will um then you'll only be facing four sorry only be facing then you'll be facing four attackers and there should be gaps in the central mid which we kind of pointed out before I'd keep the back five, including defensive midfielder, fairly unadventurous. Attack out wide and have runners from deep. Your inverted winger will be cutting into where their defensive midfielders are, so maybe change that and stretch the play. Maybe someone slightly more adventurous than an anchor. Um, a deep blind playmaker, defender, but I don't think I can actually do that here. Oh yes I can, deep blind playmaker, defend, there we go. Then can change the advanced playmaker to more of a runner, also, the wing back too advanced when facing their attacking wing is my view at least. He does point out though, it's a fine theory, but his trophy cabinet is pretty bare, um, as we all know. So, others will say not to bother and play your own way, but that's not the point of that of this really. I know I, I would always like to play my own way, but it's just a bit of fun to get people involved and, and see see what, what they thought really. Um, he also wears a Tim Sherwood gilet. So I've also had some feedback on Slack. FM Slack. If you're not on it, get on it. The um, link is in the description below, so you can check it out there. So Samo has said, go with a 442 with no team instructions. It's a winner. I can't. I can't do that, Samo. Um, <laughs> I did. I did it in the, a couple of games ago, not with no team instructions, but I went with a 442 and it didn't work. So I can't do that. However, Sir Valerian has mentioned about my. Um, striker up front saying that I should perhaps be playing him as uh, a complete forward is that what he said yeah a complete forward on support rather than um, as a defensive forward which is what I had him on had him on before um, and then Samo also chipped in and said um, perhaps deep lying forward could be an option as well uh, with Roman moves into channels on in the team instructions so let's have a quick look at that. A deep lying forward support in his instructions. Uh, moving to channels on and roam from position. Okay, let's try that. Obviously, we've got Hirovic and Johansson out, which is a bit of a bummer. So, what I've done is brought Bartles in on this right wing. Eggstein is coming up front, obviously, because we don't have. Um, the other two that we would normally play, which is Kruse or Johansson. I've also got on the bench here, Zhang Yuning, and I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to put Belfodil in there instead of Torre, 
just as another another option for striker, he's not too bad. He could be something. He could still be something. So um, let's let's go with that for now, and let's see how that pans out. So I just wanted to show you this as well. This is um, a new long throw tactic, um, set piece tactic, based on the fact that we've been doing it with, um, I've been doing it with my Nigeria save. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. I've been doing a Nigeria save as part of the World Cup. I won't give you any spoilers as to what's happened so far with that. But really, I wanted to try it in this. I noticed that um, Bauer has got 16 long throws, and that should just be enough to manage it according to Casey Renzi, and he's the master on all of these things. Um, go and check out his uh, post on uh, set pieces and long throws, if you haven't seen it already. Uh, so yeah, I've introduced this routine. Hopefully, it's going to be successful and get us some kind of goal, some kind of Rory Delap action. Um, let's see, see how it goes. Okay, so... Their favourites, we've got inconsistent form, they've got fair form, we're fifth, they're eighth. Yeah, we know all that already. Let's have a look at the team. Oh, we're not going to have a look at the team. Yeah, there we go. So, what I've done is I've got Kainz on uh, winger attack instead of on the uh, inverted winger. We've got Eggstein up there uh, as a deep line forward on support instead of um, as a defensive forward. We also have Delaney on deep line playmaker, defense, defense de alert with defend mentality. Um, and also I did just quickly change these wing backs to, I mean, they're still wing backs, but I changed them to support as well. Uh, we've got a standard, a st oops, I've just changed that to overload by accident. Uh, we've got a standard mentality. We've got a fluid team shape. We've got a few team instructions, which are to retain possession. Um, we've got exploiting the flanks, um, closing down, more we've got actually i'm going to change that to sometimes actually in fact if it lets me okay uh yeah so we've got exploit the left flank flank exploit the right flank lower tempo retain possession let's see how that goes hopefully that's going to do something uh and if not we can blame uh at according to fm on twitter that's mike send him some shit if this goes tits up okay passionate we can potentially move into a qualification spot. Come on, let's go. Didn't realize that. Right, so game's about to kick off. Gomez kicks off. Come on. Oh God, they've so they've got a chance four minutes in. William Origi, oh my goodness. That looked like that was going in if he didn't if he hadn't intercepted his own player's shot, which is a bit weird. Okay, fourteen minutes and fairly even. Oh, what's happening? Camacho's had a yellow card. Wolfsburg four shots. Bremen one. Fifty three percent possession to forty seven. Not much happening. This is a bit of a boring half. Come on, there's got to be another highlight before half time. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it's us. Kainz. To Egerstein. Egerstein to Maximovic. Who can Maximovic... Maximovic finds Bartles. Get it in there, Bartles. Grujic! Okay, well... That's promising. I guess. I don't... Think... I mean, do we change anything there? They've had more shots, but let's just try and motivate them a little bit. Um, pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. Whoa, that's worked. Okay, hand over to assistant as well. Let's start a second half. I'm going to keep it going like this for a little bit, and let's just let's just see where we get to. It's a little bit worrying that they've had more shots, but at least they haven't scored any yet. Eight to three. Yeah, we're just not getting any shots off at all. Nothing's happening at all. Okay, Pavlenka kicks it off. Delaney to Kainz. Kainz finds Grujic. Grujic finds Maximovic. Egerstein. Maximovic again. Grujic. What can Grujic do? Finds Maximovic. Bartles. 
Oh. And now they're on the counter-attack. Oh, and Gomez destroys one of our players. Stefaniak. <laughs> Stefaniak. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin Stefaniak. Stefaniak. This is Mario Gomez. It was too good to be true, wasn't it? My classic move here would be now to just go attacking, go all out attack. That's how my tactical brain works. Let's say get creative. Okay, nothing's happening here. Let's try more direct passing. I'm going to forget about exploiting the flanks because it's just not happening. No, in fact, shorter passing and let's retain possession. And the reason I'm doing that is because I just I just want to keep hold of the ball and stop them from attacking. And then we'll try and work that ball into the box. We'll try it that way instead. Um, and we'll just go for a normal tempo, actually. Let's try that. I mean, what, what have we got to lose? This is like reverse attacking. <laughs> okay, Pavlenka. Grijic, Delaney, Egerstein, Maximovic. Oh, God, if this works. Oh, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> Look at that moment where you think, oh, maybe this is going to work. Maybe. Oh, it could still work. This is that moment again. Oh, Pavlenka. No. Oh, yes, Kainz. Egerstein. See, he, he's doing what he's supposed to do there. He's trying to hold it up. Here's Augustinson. Can he find Kainz? Kainz is dead. Why can't he run? Brooks. Oh, here's Stefaniak again. Oh, Gomez. Oh, thank God. Pavlenka saves it. Okay, let me just pause that. I just want to have a look if, if anyone's absolutely dead. Yes, a few of them are. Right, I'm going to give this Belfodil a go. Maybe you can win it for us. Grujic can go off and Traore can come on. Traore is a good attacking option. Let's confirm that. And I want to also have a look at the tactics if I get a chance. Yeah, tactics. I'm going to... Hmm. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of Delaney from there, and I'm going to bring... Oh, do I bring Zhang Yuning on? Go on, I've got a good feeling about this. Oops, Zhang Yuning. Oh, going up front. What does he want to be? He wants to be a target man. He can be a target man. Belfadil can be... He should probably be more like a false nine or something, I think, in that in that situation. And then I'm going to bring Traore up there and Maximovic is just going to have to deal with this. Uh, sorry, no, central midfielder support. Maximovic is just going to have to deal with that situation. And that looks not that great, but let's go for it and let's go attacking. And fuck the law, let's go. Play. Fuck the law, that's not a very nice thing to say. Karma, gonna get me for saying that now. Come on, let's just have a chance, let's just have it. Oh no. Trail Ray. Oh. Come on. Okay, kinds. No. God damn it. Oh, it was close. It was close though, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't close. That 14 shots to three. Uh, and 55% of the possession. But only two of those shots were clear-cut chances. You know? I mean, we beat them on fouls. Okay, well, I, I didn't think I was going to beat them anyway. So, you know, can't be too disappointed with it. Um... It wasn't a pleasing performance. 
not happy. I'll piss off. Whatever. You're all a bunch of dicks. Right, Wolfsburg enter Euro Cup race, so they've basically leapfrogged us in the league. Let's have a quick look at the uh, league and see where we sit. So yeah, Wolfsburg have leapfrogged us. They're on a good run of form at the moment. We've dropped down to sixth. Not the end of the world. We've still got uh, the semi-final of the German Cup to come. We've still got quite a few games left in the season, or we've got enough games left in the season to turn it back round. But as I said, you know, we were overperforming anyway. We shouldn't be in this situation in the first place, technically. So um, it's not actually too bad. So thanks for the advice, everyone, you set of bastards. You've totally fucked me. Um, no, seriously, thanks, thanks a lot for getting back. I don't think I'll try that again soon. I might try it again in the future, but uh, you never know. It was worth a try. Uh, it might it might have come off. It didn't. But it might have done. But it didn't. So, next game, we've got RB Leipzig. Um, I just want to point out, I know that last episode I said Red Bull Leipzig. I know they're not called Red Bull Leipzig anymore. I can't help it. RB Leipzig, we're going to be playing next game in the league. Um... And that should, that should be quite an interesting one. And then after that, I think we're going to be playing Bayern. Uh, and then we'll get back into the cup games again. So quite a few quite a few things coming up in the near future. If you haven't already checked out the Nigeria World Cup save, which I've already mentioned in this episode before, go and check that out. There should be three or four episodes of it available um, at the moment. So go and check those out. And hope you're enjoying the World Cup in general. It's been quite good. In fact, it's been bloody amazing hasn't it I think this is probably yeah I mean this is probably one of the best World Cups I can remember for ages I'd say maybe even since Italia 90 and that's that's a pretty bold statement isn't it so I'm sure you have been enjoying it if that's the case by now England have probably won the World Cup so you know congratulations England that's it for today Make sure you do all the usual stuff like click the buttons underneath and click like and subscribe. Don't click the thumbs down, click the thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, JimG underscore FM. And if I ever do any more tactical advice uh, from the community sessions, uh, you'll you'll be there ready to help me out. That's it for now. So thank you. See you next time. <laughs>